Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to use Elmer's school glue to prevent resin drips on the back of my resin pieces when I do a clear resin top coat. So this is my, um, this is a resin coaster I had made on my channel previously. If you want to see how I made this piece, I'll link that video down below. Um, and I'm actually going to be turning this into a sun catcher. So I need to do a clear resin top coat. Off camera, you can see I installed two eye screws on the top and bottom of the piece. And um, before I do my top coat, what I'm doing is I'm just adding Elmer's school glue. It's just white glue. PVA glue works as well. And Elmer's glue wall works um, really well too. The glue wall is a little bit more expensive, so the school glue works just as good. I like to buy it by the gallon for this. It's around like $11 for a gallon, I want to say. So what I'm doing is I just poured a nice big round circle on the back of my piece of that glue. And now I'm going in with a paintbrush and I'm just pushing it right up to the edge of my coaster here. And when I do this, I have this particular paintbrush designated for this job. I never clean this paintbrush off. I know it looks really crusty, but I just let the glue dry on it every time after I do this. And that actually helps kind of grab the glue and move it easier. Um, so that way, you know, you're not wasting paintbrushes. Just use the same one every time. Just dedicate a paintbrush for this project. You want to make sure you push it right up to the edge. Don't go over the edge, just push it right up to the edge. And I'm just kind of scooping it from the middle, pushing it right up to the edge. Um, I like to use the glue. You can also, you know, work, do liquid latex. Um, the glue is a little bit more affordable and it works just the same. So after I get the entire thing covered, I just kind of, you know, make sure everything's covered on the back. You want to make sure that you don't, you actually don't need much in the middle of your piece. You want to make sure most of it is around the perimeter of your piece because that is where your resin drips are going to be. They're going to be right under the rim on the bottom of your piece. And then I let that dry for 24 hours. The only downside about this glue, you guys, is it takes longer to dry than the liquid latex. It does take like a full 24 hours to dry fully. Um, so you want to make sure that it's dry and then you're ready to go in and do your clear resin top coat. Um, for this one, I'm actually using KS Resin Liquid Stone. I like to use that one for my top coats. I just add a nice dollop of that clear resin to my piece, hit it with my heat gun to kind of get everything warmed up, move it around. Then I'm going to go in with my gloved hand. And when I do top coats, I just, um, you can see I had a little bit run off my table. I'm just going to scoop that up, just pick up my piece, make sure the top is completely covered, make sure the sides are completely covered. Um, I'm not going to worry, you know, if it gets on the bottom of my piece because that's what that glue we added is for. It's going to make sure that nothing sticks to the bottom of your project. And I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link one of those down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. Uh, when I mix up my resin, I do it the same way every single time. And I have my piece raised up off my table on a spray paint can lid and I have wax paper down to protect my table and that's pretty much it. I make sure everything has good coverage on the top and the sides, hit it with my heat gun once more to pop bubbles and that's that's it. You're good to go on your top coat. I let it dry for 24 hours and now we're ready to peel the glue off the back along with the resin drips. The hardest part of this is finding a starting point. I'm going to go in with my little shop knife here and just very carefully pick a spot to kind of get a start starting point to peel that glue off there. If you're having a hard time, just take your heat gun, hit it in one spot on the back for about 10, 15 seconds, and then go in with your little, you know, you could use an X-Acto blade. I have this little dedicated shop knife and just kind of pry that under there. Be careful you don't scratch the back and then you can see it just peels right up and it'll come off in one piece. You want to make sure you don't leave this glue on the back of your pieces for longer than 48 hours. After 48 hours, it does become harder to peel off. It doesn't come off in one nice big circle like this. 
um, but you can see it comes right off along with the resin drips that were on the bottom of the piece. Um, so that glue protects the back of your pieces so those drips of the clear resin from the top coat don't bond to your artwork or your coasters or whatever you're top coating. You can see it has a nice glossy finish and shine from that top coat turned out perfectly the bottom turned out perfect as well and that's it you're good to go i wanted to share this with you guys um, it's a little bit different or kind of similar to the liquid latex trick but it's a little bit more affordable let me know what you guys think i hope you guys give this a try thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and here's how it turned out all finished pretty little sun catcher off camera I added a little glitter backing layer to this piece and I have this one listed in my Etsy shop um, it's available for purchase if you want to check out my Etsy shop I'll link it down below as well thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel I hope you guys are all doing fantastic I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you guys soon for another video bye guys